Mark McNulty, just how good a player can he become, do you think, now? Because it's nine goals this season for him. When he starts games, he scores goals, doesn't it? Yeah, and even when he comes on, he looks a threat as well. But, uh, you know, he's been hampered by one or two injuries and off-the-field incidents and everything. And I think we're seeing him improving. He's been with us, what, a year now? I just think we're, we've been working with him a year now, asking him to do certain things. Uh, I, I thought we saw most of those in the game on Sunday. Is he ready to start week in, week out? Does he have that fitness level, do you think? I don't think he quite got it, but I think the only way you get that is by building up your fitness. But if he keeps getting knocks or he keeps getting ill, it's difficult for to start him every week uh, and then even to leave him on for 90 minutes. I think the nature of the strikers, we ask them to give everything they can and if it's 75, 80 minutes, then you come off and we put a fresh pair of legs on. It was lovely having Jamie Murphy. He could have only probably done 10 minutes on the way he was feeling because uh, he did look like death warmed up sitting on the bench. Uh, he's, he's, you know, he's a pale lad at the best of times. Uh, <laughs> But he did look—he did look particularly pale on Sunday. Yeah, lots of people were tweeting me today, knowing I was coming to see you and saying, "Why didn't Jamie Murphy start the weekend? Can we read anything into this? Are clubs interested in him in this January window?" But he was just ill. He was just ill. He'd been ill for two or three days before. Um, he literally had a slice of toast on Sunday morning, and um, he, that's all he'd really eaten for a day or two. Uh, so, and for Jamie to say, "I think I'm going to struggle to start," then it, you know, it, it must have felt pretty, pretty rough. Uh, but it was great he went on the bench and played an important role for 10 minutes.